What time is it? It's prayer time. Today, let us gather in the presence of the Almighty to rejoice and reflect on the profound truth that God is always on our side. In a world fraught with challenges and uncertainties, it is reassuring to know that we are not alone. God, in His infinite love and mercy, stands beside us, guiding us through the storms of life. Scripture tells us in Romans 8.31, If God is for us, who can be against us? This powerful declaration reminds us that with God on our side, nothing can stand against us. It doesn't matter what trials we face or what obstacles block our path. God's unwavering presence ensures our victory. In times of trouble, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and defeated. We may question our abilities, our worth, and our purpose, but let us remember that God is greater than any challenge we may encounter. He is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble, according to Psalm 46. One, God's love for us knows no bounds. He delights in blessing his children and granting them the desires of their hearts. As it says in Psalm 37, 4, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. When we align our will with God's and trust in his plan for our lives, he will lead us to fulfillment and abundance. Even in our darkest moments, God remains faithful. He sees our struggles and hears our cries for help. As it says in Isaiah 41, 10, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. With God by our side, we can face any challenge with courage and confidence. Let us therefore take comfort in the knowledge that God is on our side. Let us trust in his unfailing love and rely on his guidance in all things. As we go forth from this place, may we carry with us the assurance that no matter what lies ahead, God is with us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. Knowing that God is on our side should fill us with unwavering faith and confidence. When we face challenges instead of succumbing to fear and doubt, we can stand firm in the assurance that the creator of the universe is fighting for us. This confidence empowers us to persevere through adversity and emerge victorious, knowing that God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. Recognizing that God is on our side should inspire us to live lives of righteousness and obedience. God's favor is not unconditional. It is bestowed upon those who walk in his ways and seek his will. As it says in Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. When we align our lives with God's word and submit to his authority, we position ourselves to receive his abundant blessings and favor. The knowledge that God is on our side should compel us to extend his love and grace to others. Just as God has shown mercy to us, so too are we called to show mercy to those around us. As it says in Matthew 5, 7, blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy. By demonstrating compassion, forgiveness, and kindness to others, we reflect the character of our Heavenly Father and spread His love throughout the world. Understanding that God is on our side instills within us a sense of purpose and direction. We are not wandering aimlessly through life, but rather we are on a divine journey guided by the hand of our Heavenly Father. With His wisdom to light our path and His strength to uphold us, we can face each day with confidence and determination knowing that we are fulfilling the purpose for which we were created. Moreover, the assurance of God's presence and favor empowers us to overcome the obstacles that may stand in our way. Whether it be sickness, financial hardship, or relational strife, we can rest in the knowledge that God is greater than any challenge we may face. As it says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. With God on our side, there is no mountain too high, no valley too low that we cannot conquer. When God is on our side should ignite within us a fervent desire to draw near to him in prayer and worship. As we cultivate a deeper intimacy with God, we open ourselves up to his presence and power in our lives. Through prayer, we commune with the one who holds the universe in his hands, pouring out our hearts before him and receiving his guidance, comfort, and strength. In worship, we magnify his name and exalt his greatness, declaring his sovereignty over all creation and acknowledging his faithfulness in every circumstance. As it says in Hebrews 11, 6, and without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. When we walk in faith, trusting in God's faithfulness and provision, we experience the abundant life that he has promised to those who follow him. 
we getting ready to pray. But before we begin to pray, please do like, comment, and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and praise, acknowledging the profound truth that you are always on our side. In moments of joy and moments of sorrow, in times of triumph and times of trial, you remain steadfast and faithful, guiding us with your unfailing love and grace. Lord, we thank you for the assurance that nothing can stand against us when you are for us. With you by our side, we are more than conquerors, empowered to face every challenge with courage and confidence. We take comfort in the knowledge that your presence goes before us, leading us with your wisdom and strength. Father, help us to live lives that reflect the reality of your favor and presence in our lives. May we walk in faith, trusting in your promises and obeying your commands. May we love one another as you have loved us, extending grace, forgiveness, and compassion to those around us. Lord, ignite within us a passion for your kingdom and your purposes in the world. May we be bold and courageous in proclaiming your truth and advancing your reign of justice, mercy, and love. Use us as instruments of your peace, bringing hope to the hopeless and healing to the broken. Lord, in moments of doubt and uncertainty, remind us that you are on our side. When the storms of life rage around us, help us to stand firm in the knowledge that you are our shelter and our strength. Give us the strength to cling to your promises, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill every word spoken over us. Father, when fear threatens to overwhelm us, remind us that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, according to 2 Timothy 1, 7. Help us to trust in your sovereignty, even when we cannot see the way ahead. Grant us the courage to step out in faith, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Lord, as we journey through this life, help us to keep our eyes fixed on you. May your presence be our constant companion, guiding us through the valleys and leading us to the mountaintops. Give us hearts that are open to your leading, ears that are attentive to your voice, and hands that are ready to do your will. We thank you, Lord, for the assurance that you are on our side. May this truth anchor our souls in the midst of life's storms and fill us with hope for the future. Help us to live each day with confidence, knowing that with you, nothing is impossible. Lord, in moments of weakness, remind us of your steadfast faithfulness. Help us to cast all our anxieties on you, knowing that you care for us according to 1 Peter 5, 7. Strengthen our hearts and minds with your peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding us from fear and doubt. Father, when we face trials and tribulations, remind us that we are more than conquerors conquerors through Christ who loves us. Give us the courage to stand firm in our faith, knowing that you have overcome the world. Empower us to walk in victory, trusting in your promises and believing in your unfailing love. Lord, as we navigate the complexities of life, help us to keep our focus on you. May we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, knowing that you will provide for all our needs according to Matthew 6:33. Fill us with a hunger and thirst for your word, that we may be rooted and grounded in your truth. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of knowing that you are on our side. May this truth be a source of strength and comfort to us always. Help us to live our lives in a manner that brings glory and honor to your name. Father, we thank you for the assurance that you are always on our side, guiding us with your wisdom and protecting us with your strength. Lord, help us to trust in your unfailing love and faithfulness, knowing that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, in moments of fear and doubt, remind us of your promises and fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, give us the courage to face challenges and obstacles with confidence, knowing that you are fighting for us. Father, help us to walk closely with you, seeking your will and following your lead in all that we do. Lord, empower us to persevere in faith, trusting in your power to overcome every obstacle and bring victory in our lives. Father, grant us wisdom to discern your voice and guidance that we may walk in your ways and fulfill your purposes for our lives. Lord, help us to surrender our fears and worries to you, casting all our cares upon you for you care for us. Father, strengthen our faith and increase our trust in you that we may stand firm in the face of adversity and remain steadfast in our commitment to you. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may be bold witnesses of your love and grace to those around us. Father, protect us from the schemes of the enemy and guard us from harm as we put our trust in you. Lord, help us to keep our focus on you, even in the midst of trials and tribulations, knowing that you are our 
source of strength and hope. Father, guide us in the paths of righteousness that we may walk in obedience to your word and bring glory to your name. Lord, surround us with your presence and cover us with your peace that we may experience your comfort and assurance in every situation. Father, strengthen our resolve to follow you wholeheartedly, trusting in your guidance and provision for our lives. Lord, help us to be diligent in prayer, seeking your will and interceding for others that your kingdom may come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, teach us to rely on your strength rather than our own, that we may walk in victory and overcome every obstacle that stands in our way. Lord, fill us with your joy and gratitude that we may praise you continually for your goodness and faithfulness towards us. Father, give us discernment to recognize the schemes of the enemy and the wisdom to resist his attacks, standing firm in the truth of your word. Lord, help us to live with confidence and courage, knowing that you are on our side and that nothing can separate us from your love. Father, grant us humility to acknowledge our dependence on you and the grace to surrender our will to yours, trusting that your plans are always for our good. Lord, protect our minds from doubt and fear, filling us instead with faith and confidence in your promises. Father, strengthen our relationships with one another that we may support and encourage one another in our faith journey. Lord, help us to be bold witnesses of your love and grace, sharing the good news of salvation with those who do not know you. Father, grant us wisdom and discernment in our decision making that we may honor you in all that we do and bring glory to your name lord help us to be diligent in seeking your guidance and direction that we may walk in obedience to your will and experience the abundant life you have promised us father protect us from the distractions and temptations of this world that we may keep our focus on you and live lives that are pleasing to you lord help us to be faithful stewards of the resources you have entrusted to us using them to advance your kingdom and bless those in need. Father, give us hearts of compassion and generosity that we may share your love with those around us and be a light in the darkness. Lord, we thank you for the assurance that you are always on our side and we commit ourselves to trust in you and follow where you lead, knowing that with you all things are possible. Father, we decree and declare that you are always on our side, guiding us with your wisdom and protecting us with your strength. According to Psalm 46, one God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Lord, we decree and declare that your presence goes before us, leading us in paths of righteousness and ensuring our victory in every circumstance. According to Deuteronomy 31, 8, the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Father, we decree and declare that your love for us is unfailing and everlasting and nothing can separate us from your love. According to Romans 8, 39, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. According to Psalm 46, one heavenly father, we decree and declare that you are fighting for us and with you on our side, we are more than conquerors. According to Romans 8, no, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our ever-present help in times of trouble and we can trust in your unfailing love and faithfulness. According to Psalm 121, one, two, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Father, we decree and declare that you are our rock and our fortress, our deliverer in whom we take refuge. According to Psalm 18, 2, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our stronghold and our salvation, and we will not fear, for you are with us. According to Psalm 27, 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the, Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Father, we decree and declare that you are our shield and our defender, and you will protect us from the attacks of the enemy according to psalm 3 3 but you lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high lord we decree and declare that you are our light and our salvation and we will not be afraid for you are with us according to psalm 27 1 the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall i be afraid father we decree and declare that you are our refuge in times of trouble and we can trust in your unfailing love and faithfulness According to 
to Psalm 91, two I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our strength and our song and you have become our salvation. According to Exodus 15, two, the Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him, my father's God, and I will exalt him. Heavenly Father, we decree and declare that you are our helper and our deliverer and we will not be afraid. According to Psalm 118, six, the Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Lord, we decree and declare that you are our rock and our fortress and we will trust in you at all times. According to Psalm 62, six, truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress, I will not be shaken. Father, we decree and declare that you are our hiding place and our shield and we will put our trust in you. According to Psalm 119, 114, you are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our refuge and our strength and we will not fear even though the earth gives way. According to Psalm 46, one, two, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, Father, we decree and declare that you are our stronghold and our salvation and we will trust in you with all our heart. According to Psalm 18, two, the Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our light and our salvation and we will not be afraid for you are with us. Father, we decree and declare that you are our helper and our deliverer and we will not be afraid. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our rock and our fortress and we will trust in you at all times. Heavenly Father, we decree and declare that you are our hiding place and our shield and we will put our trust in you. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our refuge and our strength and we will not fear even though the earth gives way. Father, we decree and declare that you are our stronghold and our salvation and we will trust in you with all our heart. According to Psalm 18 too, Lord, we decree and declare that you are our light and our salvation and we will not be afraid for you are with us. According to Psalm 27, one, Father, we decree and declare that you are our helper and our deliverer and we will not be afraid. According to Psalm 118, six, the Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Lord, we decree and declare that you are our rock and our fortress and we will trust in you at all times. According to Psalm 62, six, he only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense, I shall not be moved. Father, we decree and declare that you are our hiding place and our shield and we will put our trust in you. According to Psalm 119, 114, you are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our refuge and our strength and we will not fear even though the earth gives way. According to Psalm 46, one, two, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear even though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Heavenly Father, we decree and declare that you are our stronghold and our salvation and we will trust in you with all our heart. According to Psalm 18, two, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Lord, we decree and declare that you are our light and our salvation, and we will not be afraid for you are with us. According to Psalm 27, one, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Thank you, Lord, for the assurance that you are on our side. May this truth give us confidence and courage to face whatever lies ahead. Help us to live each day in faith, trusting in your unfailing love and resting in your promises. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.